Welcome to Flat Earth Debate. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you are new to this channel, or you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they are live, and a link in the info box below this video once it is rendered. If you'd like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below this video to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the hangout. Number one, please do not swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please do not try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcomed back on the next stream. I'm gonna transition straight across to the hangout as we do have Sleeping Warrior waiting in the wings. Let's just say a quick hello to Sleeping Warrior. How are you doing? Good to have you here. Yo. Uh, I'm good. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to correcting some fundamental, catastrophic, and massive misunderstandings of people that claim to be ball earthers. They're either stupid, fools, or just liars. All of them. So I'm, I'm going to correct that straight away um, because Baz Baz, the sock account, whoever you really are, I don't know what on earth you're, what drugs you're on, dude. But you're going to be getting a few corrections. Going to be a few shout outs to a couple of good videos that are up at the minute. And I guess we'll be going back over this uh, 35 feet elevation thing because Miles Davis has got some explaining to do. So, uh, and I've got about four, I've got about an hour and 25, an hour and 20 minutes today. I've got to go and do a bit of work afterwards. So let's get this show on the road. Cool. Yeah. I mean, basically, what? yesterday we got to see an observation made, admittedly published about a week ago by Al Kay and Miles Davis. And they've shown themselves measuring a particular part of St. B's coastline from the beach. And by our crude estimations, it's about 20, 25 feet at the most that they're measuring. So, Google measures it at 29 feet. And the globe heads <laughs> measure it at about 24 feet, I've estimated. I've given them a bit more leeway. They've come back and said, oh, well, the camera's tilted back, blah, blah, blah. The bottom line is there is no 100 foot discrepancy here. 30 metres is what Google says it is, plus or minus, at that location. Now, no, they haven't gone and measured the observation position, but they have gone and measured a position within a couple of hundred yards of the viewer position. And that seems to suggest that Google is not wildly inaccurate, as claimed by the Globeheads. That's the bottom line here. We had to see something showing a discrepancy, and there doesn't seem to be any discrepancy. It seems about right. Yes, it may not, may not be exact. It might be out by a few feet. It might even be out by 10 feet for all we know. However, it's definitely not 100 feet out, which is what these guys want. Need, well, I say need. Even if they were 100 feet on top of the observation position, it wouldn't be bringing back Morgold Lighthouse. You can't see it. It's not there. Geometric impossibility to see on a sphere. So all that kind of stuff doesn't really make any difference. But the bottom line is they've measured a part of the coast and that particular part of the coast seems to tally up quite nicely with what Google seemed to quote, i.e. 29 feet where they measured. Now, from my understanding, they've continued their way up the hill, and therefore, they have not measured any other locations from the shore. They've only measured one and then worked their way up the hill. Now, if we're to trust Miles the Liar Davis in terms of his extrapolations, then fine, you can feel free to do so. Me, I'm just interested in the only measurement that was made from the shoreline of a particular location, which does have a quoted height on Google of 29 feet, and it seems to be about correct. So the extrapolations thereafter on the rest of the video, I'm not particularly interested in. Got to be honest, I had the same attitude when Anthony measured the side of the cliff with the tape measure. He started to give me his angle and extrapolating out the hypotenuse, and I wasn't interested. All I was interested in was the measurement on the tape measure. That was what I was interested in. What was at the top and what was at the bottom, based on that, you can extrapolate out whatever you like. And in the same instance, I'm only interested in the actual measurement from the shore at any location at St. B's, so we can gauge whether or not it has a 30 meter inaccuracy, obviously going up if you're a globe or it's got to be 30 meters higher, but there doesn't seem to be one. So this is the location. This is where this, it's called steps, but there's kind of a bit missing at the bottom if you ever were to use them as steps. But those particular quoted steps were measured and like I say, when you look at the pole going up, it's, if you want to call it 20 feet, 22 feet, 23 feet, fine. Google quotes it at 29. So we're not seeing any wild inaccuracies, lads. Your lies and deception and smear 
in terms of Anthony's elevation height, which it's not, it's Google's quoted elevation height, is nonsense. Total nonsense, and there is absolutely nothing to back up any discrepancy. None. Yeah. the Essentially, Miles Davis, Miles the liar Davis, yesterday, um, he, as to be fair, he has graciously given Ranty an apology. He hasn't done it on this channel, which is where I feel it should be done, because this is where the slur was made. However, he has done an apology. And, uh, he has made a video in apology, and Ranty has accepted it. And credit for that should be given, and Julie is noted as, as, as given. However, um, th there's been a bit of a, a bit of a, a red herring or a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Straw man, because Miles made a, a video that was not really related to the St. Bees observation. It was on a bit of a tangent. Miles stood. I mean, my video was done at this point, the 35 point. Uh, Miles was stood on this part here. Now you can see that in this image that there's a path that goes all the way down. Well, the bottom bit, the path at the bottom doesn't exist anymore. It's eroded away. So this bit doesn't actually exist, so it's a little bit out. But in any event, uh, Miles stood here and he did an observation. And you can see the, uh, the observation in this video from Miles that says, Flat Earth, Earth Shaped Tourist UK, St. Bees, Episode 1. Now, he was talking a lot of mumbo-jumbo about the turbines and how the turbines completely support the spherical or ob uh, the oblate spheroid that we live on, yet completely forgetting to account for the fact that they are distorted to hell because of the effects of refraction they are stretched they are disproportionately big um, but he can somehow concluded that this was the effect of curvature and when you look at the images in question um, and indeed i was challenged on why i didn't produce these and the answer is because whatever these are this is not consistent with the sphericity of the earth these things are distorted to hell and back in terms of the size i mean look at the size of this one this one has got the hub on it that's the same as this hub but that one's like five times depth, uh, more depth to it so we're seeing the, um, the the effects of this mirroring or whatever, this this dirtier or whatever it is, this refraction. This is refraction. I mean, if refraction really was this thing of bending light around the Earth, why is the light not being bent around the Earth here? Why is it being distorted to hell and back with regards to what we see? It seems that the closer it gets to the horizon, it seems that the thing gets stretched to boogery. And that's what it appears to be. Yet somehow Miles has concluded that this is the curvature of the Earth. <laughs> so, so I mean, I found it hilarious, but the point was he was looking at these turbines and he's given himself the distance to, I mean, I'm not bothered about the distance, but he's given himself the viewer height in meters at 14 feet. Now, 14, uh, sorry, viewer height in meters. So if we do 14 meters in feet, this gives us near as, mm, hang on, I've done that wrong. Yeah, 14 meters. 45 feet now let me just make sure that i'm quoted him accurately because I'm, sh I'm sure he did it at 12 yeah that i think i think he gave himself at 12 there um i can't i'm not sure i think he put on an extra two feet for his pole for his um tripod so he, he's given himself 12 meters which is near as damn it 40 feet for easy maths we'll go with 40 feet i am rounding him out a little bit but it, it doesn't make that much difference to the point in hand so Miles is putting himself at 40 feet. Now, Ranty watched this video, and Ranty said to me, do you think that's 40 feet from there? And I said, not a chance in L, not a cat in L's chance. And he said, right, well, we'll measure it. So me and Ranty went back and measured this, and we got this observation height to 29. Now, at the time, I didn't know that um, the, the value on Google Earth also happened to be 29. Now, but the point was, Miles made a, point, uh, a, com a comment in the chat yesterday that said words to the effect of, um, the observation height is critical to calculations. And then in the next breath, like a few minutes later, I asked him, well, where did you get the value of 40 feet from at this on this video? And his response was, it was an estimate. Well, how accurate is an estimate? And the reality is the estimate is 11 feet higher than what it actually is, that we measured it because Miles had the tide in at the time. The tide was in. So we measured 29 feet down to the pebbles. Like that, it wasn't down to the promenade, it was down to the pebbles. So, when we measured this 29 feet, we were in, then in the we knew that Miles was lying. We didn't make a big deal out of it, we, we just knew that he was lying. So, we left it at that because principally, I'm more interested in what's going on up here. But we knew that Miles was a liar because <clears throat> he'd claimed 40 feet and the water was literally here. So, we've measured this at 29, and it happens to be the case that Google Earth says 29 as well at the same place. So although Google Earth says it's to mean sea level, I think that Google is actually measured to the to the high sea tide level. 
I don't think it's the mean sea because this 29 feet does take you to where the water was. So we knew that Mars was a liar at that point. I didn't make a big deal about it because I was more interested in what and how things were going with regards to this observation. But Miles makes the point that the observer height is critical, yet he's given himself a 12 meter observation point from this point, and it's simply nonsense. So if we do a couple of, a little bit of quick maths uh, to see what he's given, it was actually 29 feet. Divide that by the 40 feet he put himself at. So there's like 72, 82, 92. So it's nearly 30 percent difference. 28, 27.5% difference. And what, what he's doing there by doing that is like, it's tantamount to just dishonesty because it's hugely out. So this is, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really sure where this, um, this, you're going to have to fill in the gaps here, Nate, because I'm not sure what this kilometre thing to metres thing was about, this conversion thing. But I'm curious to know what the, what the big fuss are about it is because I didn't spot anything that was fundamentally wrong myself. But yeah, this, this 29 uh, feet observation point is accurate. It's to the foot accurate. It's based on the high sea level, but it's not based on mean sea level, which Google Earth claims to be. But then we were able to calculate this 35 feet thing. Now, Baz Baz, the sock account that he is, is now telling people that I've changed my position and I haven't. What I actually said, and I'll repeat my words again, and I'll stand by my words, and they will not change, and they're never going to change because I stand by them and I reassert them over and over and over again. When my uh, Nathan sent me a tape, and the tape measured at a maximum of 66 feet. When it was thrown over the hill, got down to the bottom, there was still tape left over. Okay, I even drew it out in paint. I drew, I drew the triangle, and I drew the little bit of leftover tape. I didn't tell anybody what the measurement was, because, like Nathan says, it isn't my assertion to prove. It's your assertion to prove. Because you guys think that it's plus or minus 30 meters. Well, we were testing to see whether there was any evidence of that. And we found that there was no evidence of it. And depending on how accurate you are with your angle observation or your angle measurement, um, it governs how many feet you calculate your observation at. So you can. the only one fact that we know is that when you chuck a tape off, throw it down, get to the beach, and then that value is black and white. The variable is how you calculate the angle, or how you, not how you calculate, how you measure the angle. And depending on how you do it, you're going to get plus or minus a degree of human error, which will be probably 5%, I would guess. And that puts you back smack bang in between two values, both of which are completely acceptable based on what Google Earth tells us. The height is accurate. Okay, There is no, ele there is no um, evidence to support this nonsense of plus or minus 30 meters. But if that was the case, that there was evidence of it, we could equally argue that, well, it can go both ways then. Why would you add 30 meters to uh, my no. elevation? We could just as easily take 30 meters off and put it down onto the beach. Fundamentally, that would be a lie, fake, wrong. But if you guys are adding 30 meters to it to pick my mm. elevation up high enough so that it can account for it on the severity of the Earth nonsense calculator then it's equally as arguable that we can bring it back down again because you guys are plucking figures out of the air. So just because Google puts a disclaimer doesn't make it that it is. In, in, in places where there's a Himalayan mountains, for example, Mount Everest, yeah, I could see that being plus or minus 30 meters. But I can't see something that's fundamentally and principally on the beach being 30 meters out. So anyway, the point was, we went back to measure it to see whether there was any, any like credibility in that point. And there wasn't. So the observation still stands. Um, Paul Voigt has claimed that he's got an email from the council um, claiming that this is at 30 metres. And I've read the um, email that he's produced. And he claims that he sent it all around the ballers, but he's never sent it to me. Well, he is true. He's never sent it to me apart from yesterday. And I don't know why he wouldn't do that, given that we're supposed to be like you guys are supposed to be discrediting me. So if you guys have got evidence that supports it, why would you not actually produce it when you've been requested to do so many times? And I don't really understand why you wouldn't do that, Paul, because if you're trying to show that I'm a liar, wouldn't you produce it to me and, and corner me with it? Because that's exactly what I would do with you. Why didn't you do it when requested to do so? Now, I'm happy that there is an email from said guy in council, and I'm going to make a phone call in a bit, Nath, and we'll get him on the phone and we'll put him on the spot a little bit and see whether there's any proof um, where he got the elevation from, because I suspect he's got it from the Ordnance Survey map, 
which does say something. I can't remember what the value was for um, what it said on Google Earth, uh, on, on the Ordnance Survey map. 40 metres. 40 metres. For what Google quotes at 35 feet, they quote 40 metres. It's inside a ring. So I had to stand up. I remember it very distinctly. Paul got me to look at the Ordnance Survey map, which was in high resolution, good quality. I went up, right up to my screen and looked at the band that you sat in. And the band was a 40 meter band. So that if, therefore your claimed elevation, according to the ordinate survey maps, is 40 meters. 100 and, what is it, 100 and something feet. Well, that's, that, and, as we've shown before, we've demonstrated that the uh, ordinate survey map is a flat map. 130 odd feet, something like that. For this lower 35 foot point? Yeah, that's got it. You are in a 40 meter ring there on the ordinate survey map. 40 meters. That's a massive dis discrepancy, sure, isn't massive, it? Massive, massive, huge. I agree. And if you can just zoom out, just want you to get a couple of things and then go, uh, not so much, so off, back down, just so you've got the triangle and the um, 35 feet observation. Just zoom in a little bit more. Stop. There we go. No, no. It's not, no bring it all in frame, so scroll to the left a bit. Right, there we go. Perfect, perfect. So can you just put your um, hand over the 35 feet observation? Right, and now if you can just wave your hand over the 29 feet observation. Now, I don't know if it's clear on screen. I'm just going to make the screen a bit bigger. Hopefully this is appearing on screen. Um, where's the feet? It's down here somewhere. Where's the feet elevation? Here we go, 29 feet. So I'm hoping that appears on screen. Probably not. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there we you'll go. Have to, you'll have to cover for me for a sec while I grab this call. Yeah, no worries. So I can circle that it says 29 feet hopefully it'll appear if you've got a high enough resolution screen and that is this spot here by these steps here and then the 35 feet observation is about here-ish approximately this was the first point because it was the first thing argued about so the first video released was the first thing debated about and it was at 35 feet and this is what they actually measured so if i can bring up my photograph Find it. Here we go. So this is what they've measured. This is them at the shore. This here measured by them, which you can scale out yourself. I'm not even going to do it for you. That's a guy. Let's pretend he's six feet roughly. You can roughly scale out how high it is to here. And that location with these marked as being steps all this is all taken from the globe heads video so they've marked these as they've called them steps this thing here and on google earth that's this measured at 29 feet bring it once more this is the steps is the steps taken from their video Caravans, the observation point is slightly off here, you know, to the right. Here ish. But this is what they've measured. So apparently, this is hundreds of feet in the air. Yeah. We've seen that position where he rotates his camera on his tripod, and over and over and over and over again, I've heard people declare that that is in excess of 100 feet there, that that is a cliff. Huge. And uh, yeah, let's just see. Admittedly, it's not this spot, but you can probably see just by looking at it, you're not going huge distances up in the air. This is this between here and here is obviously not a hundred feet in elevation difference, but this here, you can now get a good idea of exactly what that looks like from the beach, and that's what it looks like. This is this is their hundred foot cliff, the lowest part of it, admittedly, but that's apparently it's just nonsense. It's always been nonsense. This is why when, I don't know, five or ten shows ago, I said I've lost all respect for Gem Panda with his smear and his declarations of hundreds of feet in the air. It's all nonsense. He had nothing to back up that evidence, and the only evidence that's been put forward so far is from globe heads, and it absolutely obliterates any notion whatsoever of Google being out by hundreds of feet. It isn't.
Yeah. You're lying again, Nathan, aren't you? Nobody ever claimed that that place was 100 feet high. We claimed the place where Anthony was actually standing was over 100 feet high. Right. What's right? I've just come back following a phone call, Jeremy. What's your issue? Nathan's claiming that people, have, including me, have said that this lower elevation is over a hundred feet high. I've never said that. Nobody has ever said that. No, so Jeremy, lie. You're lying again. You've been saying that I'm not in the position that I am at yet. That's right. That I am. You know you aren't. You've even said you aren't. You said the other day when I when I quizzed you on it, you said you were at the higher elevation. No, That's what not are you what talking about? This is the lower elevation. What are you, you talking lying? about, Jeremy? Are you at cross Why do you keep lying? Because I'm not sure what you're talking about. This is the lower elevation. What are you talking about, Jeremy? Why do you keep lying? Nathan, why are you lying? Because I'm not sure what you're talking about. This is the lower elevation. What are you talking about, Jeremy? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Nathan's unable to answer for his lies. <laughs> baby related disaster is always going to take priority unfortunately over the hangout related disaster of people sniping gem panda yeah feel free to go back through the other hangouts i was vaguely listening while i was dealing with my child emergency to gem panda claim we're lying so the hangouts are all there for people to check exactly what was claimed and who was claiming it hello flat can i help you How long did we get on the clock before we got sniped? 24 minutes, that's got to be a record.
Hello. Yo. Uh, that guy sniped me. Yeah. I don't know why. It's because we're proving these guys to be, you know, merchants of nonsense. And they are no merchants of nonsense. There's no discrepancy on Google. They're now claiming, no, we never claimed it for that. We claimed it for a higher elevation. It's like, well, why didn't you guys go out and, and go and measure the bit that you wanted to claim? Because as far as I'm concerned, they seem to have only measured accurately one elevation, which is the lower one. They've then worked their way up the hill with the rest of the uh, the um, measurements. So just an extrapolation, an addition of lots of different measurements. Just nonsense, basically. You know, Why isn't it possible to just go and get one measurement of something? Instead of that... All they've done is managed to confirm that Google's not massively inaccurate. So I don't really care what Gem seems to claim now in terms of what they're saying is massively over 100 feet. None of it's over 100 feet, Gem. None of it. Absolutely yeah. none of it. I don't understand why I would get sniped at a point where it was actually quite... In I mean, I've been looking forward and hoping that Jeremy would come in at some point because I wanted to confront the slimy little worm that he is because he is a slimy little worm. Yeah. Jeremy has done three videos dedicated to me and lying and it appears from the videos i mean correct, correct me if i'm wrong i didn't even watch two or three but the first one he was arguing about the position of this video um, and therefore the height um so the the act for me the, the issue is that jeremy appears to not accept the elevation that's given on google earth but he's giving that to me as the criticism that i'm lying is is that is that seemingly right just nothing but smear, nothing but smear, because he's claiming you are lying about your elevation height, and all you are doing is taking the height quoted on Google. So to spin it in some way that you're lying, in, in it, even if it was incorrect, oh, here we go, we've got Gem Panda back. Hello, Gem. That's another lie, isn't it? That's yet another lie. The, so the, come on, just, Jeremy, you, let's, yeah, let's let talk Let me make it fast. clear to you. The dispute is what your position. That is the dispute. Where you were standing. Can I can okay. I make this any clearer? Right. So I, Nathan, just play the video the and show day. Jeremy. I said, where were you? The higher elevation or the lower elevation? And you finally admitted the higher elevation. Is that still true? Jeremy, I think you're misunderstanding the whole concept of what the point is. I think, Do you understand what the video is? True? Did you make no, no, this you're now making it. You're now the making some the lower isn't, Jeremy. Elevation. Sorry, Jeremy. The height was always the issue. That was always. No, it's not. It is not. Oh, you're, now you're it's no, no, no. Now disgusting. it's not. So you're saying, hold on. Let's well, just see if we get some. Hold on, Jeremy. Let's just see if we get any concessions. Now that you've seen, can, we, can you answer now my that question you've about seen, your position, okay, Anthony? Do you mind if I just ask you a quick question, height, Jeremy? Just a quick question. If you you're saying it's not to about the height, with nonsense about Google Earth and it's your model. If you're we saying need it's to not about where the height, you Jeremy, were standing. Jeremy, now you need to tell us where you were standing. Try and take a breath. Count to five. So, are you saying there's no issue with the know, heights I want used an anymore? To my question. Uh, no, you, you listen to my question. Are you saying there's no issue with the heights quoted on Google? Or are you it's still saying there is an with issue the heights with them? quoted on Google, we need to know his position. Yeah. Are you Where, saying well, there is no longer an issue with heights? Or the lower position? Is there an issue with heights on Google or not? Yes. What's the issue? That is secondary to the position he was standing at. Uh, that seems to be avoidance to of my question, Jeremy. So there is an issue with the heights. I've what my is that first, issue? Which you have Please. repeatedly ignored. I'll my question do is, as I choose. Again, there is a Anthony, quoted height in excess. A higher position or the lower position. I seem very triggered. When you made Always this triggered when you're on here, Jeremy. Always triggered. Take a deck. Take a deep breath. Try to remain calm. So, I can't remain really calm when you're lying. And, uh, uh, it's okay. Right, I'm let, asking let, questions. Let, I'm asking let, if let there is speak. still an issue with I've Google's asked a question elevation. And I want an answer. Please. <laughs> I want to and know if there's still an issue. Readily. What's please the problem with the height, question. Jeremy? The quoted height is the issue. That's what we've argued no, about not. for many shows. Many no, shows are arguing about because the elevation the height position. and how wrong Google is. You're lying. Yeah, so is there an issue with the height quoted on Google? You're yes, saying there yes. Is. But, What's but, but the problem? The, it, but the, What's the problem? Uh, the primary uh, issue is with Anthony's position, and we need to know that first before we can talk about heights in Google Earth. All oh, right, he's many right. on many, many occasions, he's waved his mouse over the positions where he was. 
many yes, times. Yes, he told us he was not at 35 a golf feet course. when he wasn't. He was at the top of not the cliff. Not a girl guides, man. Over 100 feet. He's and not you on a were little girl guides, man. When I came in this hangout a few minutes ago. Yeah. So the heights you're saying on Google are wrong, still, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you're, again, you're trying to distract from the issue. No, the because issue is the, that the elevation the height was incorrect, Anthony's according position. to you, Glow. I still have not had an answer yeah. to my question. So was this observation you can, you taken can from the higher this. or the lower position? So do you still think Google's wrong then? What they put on their little numbers, do you still think they're wrong? We know it's wrong. We know it's wrong. They say it's wrong. Yeah, and I know they say more, it's wrong, but is it wrong? Nathan, is it actually you, wrong, though? Is it wrong? Explain is it wrong it or is it pretty much wrong? right? Is it pretty because much as they say, the, or is it really wildly together. inaccurate? But I'm not going to be distracted by that issue. Neither we need am I. To know I'm not going to be distracted position. by the fact What's that you that? globe heads, Why is this so difficult? If I had a penny for every where time the globe heads have said he's well in excess of 100 feet, if I had a penny for that, I'd have at least 16 pence. All right, let, let me speak with Jeremy. It seems like a straightforward question. That he, he, he deserves a straightforward response in some respects. Mention the word Google Earth. I will be very And I desperately want to give it. What it's is very tricky. Question? Maybe maybe pause for a second, Anthony. Let, let let him get it all out. It's all out. Let Anthony go ahead. What is the question you're asking? What position was I at when I did what? Well, the the observation, that, which is basically all of this argument has taken place about that composite image. That was taken from your second addendum video. Where yes. was that video shot from? That video was shot from the top, the top of the hill, the okay. highest point possible. So can we get Google Earth up and can you point to where it was filmed from? Please? No, he's been booted, because unfortunately. Because Nathan's very confused about this and he been needs booted, to have so it spelled share. out. But we need Nathan, to clarify it, it, it for the audience. Right. The first video was taken at 35 feet. The addendum video that the composite was taken from was taken at 52 feet, as per the values on Google Earth. Right. That's Let's it. Just before we get to the, the values... It was taken from the higher position at the top of the cliff, right? The composite was, yes. Right. So that's what we're talking about, Nathan. Not Neither of the places that you've pointed to today has anybody ever claimed were over 100 feet. Yes, they that's, have. That's, yeah. Yes, they, they have. On that's multiple either occasions. a mistake on your part yes, or have. a lie on your part. Yeah, yes, they have. Because I've neither of the places that you've pointed to today, with a, I will show up in a minute, were the place that Anthony actually filmed from, were they? He, he filmed all the way up and down that hill on multiple occasions. There isn't yeah. a single video. There is multiple <laughs> He's videos. He's just told from us where he filmed altitudes. from, Nathan. That's the position He's we're just talking told you. about. There are no He's other just positions told you. in discussion now. He's just told you. Just the highest Nathan, point possible, Just the top feet. of the cliff where he filmed from. He's where just he told you. Told Jeremy, from. Can I just ask, Jeremy, why do you assert that nobody has ever said anything above 100 feet? Why do you say that? I didn't say that. I did not say that. He's That's a liar. Another lie. He's a simple said, liar. Jeremy's said, a liar. We've, we've said over 100 feet for the top of the cliff. Nobody has ever said over 100 feet for the two positions yes, they that have. Nathan has pointed out. Yes, in they the have on multiple morning. occasions. That's yes, they have. You're in a liar, fact, Jeremy. it's not only quoted as being over 100 feet on Ordnance Survey. That quote has been bandied around multiple times. Multiple times. Well, Ordnance Survey quotes it at 130 feet. You pointed out this morning. Uh, excuse hangar. me. Sorry. Ordnance Survey, the one you guys want to use, quotes it at 130 feet. No, not the position that you two have pointed out this morning. The two positions that you two have pointed out this morning. Yeah, the afraid position so. where Anthony actually was is over 100 feet. But no, not it isn't. The two no, no, it isn't, Jeremy. Jeremy, it's not over 100 feet. It's not even close to 100 feet. Right, but that's a different argument. Let's no, it's get the exact the argument we're having. The argument what is about how to, high what, he is. Are you now clear of where we're talking about of being over 100 uh, There's a whole are, are host of observations it? made up and about, down that ridge, Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy, while you might love it to be just a single observation, there are multiple observations taken all no, the way up and down that hill. there's one observation that we've argued about in this debate. There are not multiple yes, observations. Yes, there are. That's the video has true. been played with him standing at the 35 feet observation with a camera well, that was the, that pointing... Was the first Jeremy, video can you just let me finish, please? During the debate, the, Jeremy, the there is a specific... With, Jeremy, with do you mind if I just finish my sentence? You seem been very seen. triggered, very so angry with relevant, you being proven a liar. I would things. understand. I would be annoyed too if I was proven to be a disingenuous liar. But there we go. That's just your problem. Can you try and calm down while I get that sentence out, please? There are multiple videos during the debate where Anthony plays. The YouTube video with him standing at the 35 feet elevation point with his tripod and he turns around and points at the caravans. From there, we had plenty of people scaling up him to those caravans and claiming him to be in excess of 100 feet. It happened on multiple occasions. 
Easy to find, easy to reference. You included have quoted him as being over 100 feet on those cliffs. Those cliffs are nowhere near 100 feet high, Jeremy. Nowhere near. Uh, none of that is true. That is, uh, it's that absolutely is not, true. That is not, We've seen one of your <laughs> own cohorts go and measure... Let a me, different observation point. The reason, Don't really know why they've measured that from the shore. But they've measured me. a different observation point, which is respond. also marked on Google as being 29 feet, and they haven't seemed to have got anywhere near 29 feet with their little pole. All right, can I respond? The reason people were, were doing those measurements with caravans against those cliffs is because that's where Anthony originally told us he was standing. He, with that, thank you for you know re-exposing re oh, his original mute, lie. Eventually, we found out where he was actually standing. But you, at that point, people were claiming you guys you giving know, up on the embargo know, 60, now. Then is the uh, embargo I, I over? Tony and Jen, is this the end of the embargo? Then no more. Uh, the, the over no more boycott. Relate, has related no more boycotts. Is this the end of your boycott then, Jeremy? Why are you talking over me again, Just Nate? for fun. I, I, just for fun. Just for kicks and giggles. Just to amuse myself and the audience. Fun. Fun to talk over a lie and disingenuous piece of shit like you, Jeremy. You're basically just out to smear somebody. That's yeah, what you've done. That's exactly. Look, Look uh, let, me you, let me speak. Right? You've been, let, let you me were speak. pointing out two positions and claiming that we said they were over 100 feet. Yes, that that's is correct. a lie. If that's you correct. say it's not a lie, get the piece of video where people say that. Yeah, it's been said show on multiple the, occasions. Show me that it even that is happens. quoted as that on Ordnance Survey. You want to put in no, huge not. numbers no, from not. the ordinary survey map. Not yes, feet. they are. 40 meters. No, they're not. You're oh, incorrect. suddenly Jeremy's backtracking. This is brilliant. No, I'm, I'm going to shut up and no, let I'm Jeremy not. dig the his own hole. The higher position where Anthony was actually stood is over 100 feet. The rest of the cliff, the, or at least the other two positions he's mentioned, are not over 100 feet. When I pointed them out on my ordnance survey map, they were at, it was at 75 feet. That's what I claimed it to be. That I, that's in my video, seventy-five feet. So you're wrong again, right. and you're trying. Jeremy. You're trying to be deceptive about this position. You're trying to make it cloudy in some way. That there were multiple observations. There that's were. not true. That's All always of been the claimed. I've heard him. About if, that if I've heard him, Anthony the say thirty-four and fifty-two, thirty-four and fifty-two the during the debate because he's got two different potential observation positions that could be talked about. So the amount of times I've heard him say 34 and 52 over and over again, he has never not claimed to be at the higher observation point. That's just That's you lie lying. Well. He, the you only, lying. He only admitted You're lying. the higher elevation. He has when disclaimed he, this. He has uh, disclaimed it. He's been totally honest. Anymore. All you've he's done is been out to smear him. He was even claiming it last week when I came in the hangout last week. So you're lying again. You've not like, measured anything. Recorded, Your globe head friends Anyone have, and they've and shown see, Google and isn't wildly in inaccurate. Video. That's what they've shown. Right. They've demonstrated right. it. You've not uh, measured anything, speak. Jem. I don't need to, to measure Jeremy. things. Jeremy. I've got an ordnance survey map that tells me accurately what height he was at. All right, well, you know it seems like that you know isn't the case. Over 100 feet. It seems like that's not the case, according to your own globe head friends. You have measured it, Jem. data that you know is inaccurate is accurate. So is isn't. the measurements made by Al Kay and Miles Davis inaccurate because it's just a poll? We've got an ordnance survey map. Doesn't right, matter. and we we've also got a guy standing about. next to the cliff holding a pole. So are you telling me yeah, that I, I should take the ordnance I, survey map over a guy physically my measuring working, it? working, Nathan? Because you don't seem to be hearing the words, we have an ordnance survey. Yeah, the maps that come from the hypothetical ge geoid that's flattened. Yeah, that's fascinating, Gem. Anyway, on with the actual measurement <laughs> uh, made by your oh, cohort. Are you highlighting another thing that you got wrong, Nathan? Are no, you no, I haven't got anything wrong. I've got a, there's a, an a, a video you can go and refer to called QED WGS84. Uh, and, if Jeremy and will that stop talking for more than two seconds. Because he's very triggered. Caught out meters. in his lies and he's very triggered about it, but that's okay. So there's a video you can go and watch with a professional engineer, surveyor, veteran oh, surveyor. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the, the veteran yeah, correct. surveyor he was. Correct, you can go and listen to him explain oh, how oh, the ordnance well survey well maps there. are created but using the WGS84, which well references a hypothetical, lies, hypothetical geoid. Alright, let me speak with Jeremy. Jeremy, what do you think the lie is? Your position. Right. I've been very, very clear on with You've regards not. You've to lied. the position. <laughs> You've repeatedly lied about your position. 
Right. When Miles so challenged when... you on it, you said oh, oh. no. You were not at the top of the cliff, and then you produced evidence that showed that you were at the top of the cliff. That was a flat well, outline. No, I've, I've listened, Jeremy. You can't I've pretend given... it wasn't. It was a lie. And you've lied I've... repeatedly throughout. You were even lying the other day when that guy was in here. You were trying to convince him you were at that lower level when you weren't. So you're just to be clear, today. Jeremy, can I just clear something up then? So you're saying that you've given the elevation of that as being 70 metres, you said. Did you say? Or 70 no, feet? I no, I didn't. That's not what I said. Why, what did you say? Why is um, it that Jeremy, you're calm stupid, down. Mate. I'm asking you a is few it questions. It's really slow. It's okay. Don't or are get you so defensive. trying to it's obfuscate just a few the questions, evidence. questions, Jeremy. Don't get so defensive. I'm asking... What do I you will get put? Defensive because this what is do you now. put the higher elevation position as in feet? I I didn't put it in feet. Give it meters. me in meters then. It was in that was in that was I didn't put it in meters. That was in my first video. At that point, I was still giving Anthony the benefit of the doubt. How high is the higher observation position, Jeremy? It's thirty-three meters. So that's less than 100 feet. 33 uh, 100, meters. 33 meters, feet. 100 feet less than, yeah. So about 108 feet or something like that. And then there's your right. tripod to go on top of that. So hold on a second, the, Jeremy. And, and so the, just um, let me get this correct, the Jeremy. That we're sorry, for the Jeremy. Height. So you're saying it's 108 feet, correct? Over 100, uh, I, over well, 100 let's, feet. Let's, well, well, let's check. Isn't it? Not let's check. You're height, telling us it's over check, 100 Jeremy, feet. Yes. Aren't you? Point two feet. If, over a hundred, then. Over a hundred. Nathan, yes. didn't Jeremy say before that nobody eight. Had said it was over a hundred feet? Yeah, he's saying he's just said in this clip that nobody's claiming it to be over a hundred, and literally minutes later he's saying it's a hundred and eight. Again, you're trying to obfuscate. Not Again, obfuscate, no. I'm just using your own we're words using, and your own lies against you, Jeremy. Clear, That's what we're doing. That we're talking about. We're now talking about Anthony's. Nice that you're position. here to defend your lies. Nice that you're here. I'd be you here said, defending you it. Said your words were nobody has said anything above 100 and feet. I and you said nobody has said anything is. over 100 feet. That's what you said. Yes, because, because we're talking about a different position, Nathan. Oh, you're talking about How a different position now, Jeremy. Why don't you try and get it we're clear about which about position you're position talking about, now, Jeremy? Nathan. Don't we're you know which position the you're talking about? The don't you know? Is over 100 you feet. need to figure out which position you're talking about, Jeremy. Feet. Get it clear in your own mind. Get Nathan, yourself together. You to take a few breaths out. and figure out where you're talking about. Right, so let, let, let me go back to Jeremy. Jeremy, just be clear. Are you talking about the 35 feet observation or the addendum video? Which one are you talking about? All of, the, all of this debate, every single hangout on the Isle of Man, except for debate 76, has been about uh, the the, uh, the, composite. the composite from the addendum video, all of it. Sure, right. So, is there any problem with that, or are you, is that a fact that you're happy with? So that's. I hope that's a fact that we're both happy with. Nathan seems Agreed. to think there are a multitude of observations taken from different heights. There are. So he needs to. There, be there, there, there are. There are. Right, so that's opposite to what you've just said. No, I've said there's a multiple number of observations of taken up and down that hill. That's a fact. One there video, are. One position. Right, Jem, let's keep it to keep it on fact, right? Keep it simple, right? You're talking about the 52 feet observation height, yeah? Uh, right, we we haven't made that? this point clear, have we? During this debate, have all of the all of the hangouts that have taken place, apart from the very first one, been about an observation? from the second video, the addendum video. Yes, as far as I'm aware, pretty yes. much all of them. Were there, were from the there observations from any other positions apart from the very first one? Yes. The word. We spoke okay, about where, what feet. video did they come from? The first video that came out, which was not the addendum one. I said apart from the first one, were there, were there any others discussed? Any other observations no. apart from the first no. one? No. Right. What do you so, mean? Sorry, so there just are a bit only, of clarity. So sorry, there Jeremy. Are only, just to, just for our own benefit. Sorry, hang Jeremy. On, hang, sorry, just want to ask one question. This for the what audience, do you mean about? Nathan. What do you mean apart so, from the first one? What do you mean apart from the first one? The first debate on it, seventy-six. So what you're saying is there has been literally on the debates two different observations debated, correct? Yes, that's correct. Jolly good. Right. However, the first of those observations was only shown in the very first debate. And every subsequent debate was about the second observation. 
Are we all right. agreed on that? And so there are no other observation rights. Sorry, I just check what I'm limit. agreeing to. So I'm agreeing to the fact that two different observation positions have been debated about. Yes, I will agree to that. Yes, and will you agree that the that one of those positions was only debated about in the first debate? I, I don't know. No. I haven't checked. No, I wouldn't agree to that. We were talking about the 35 feet for the last two weeks, Jeremy, uh, continuously. And the reason is we see the land in the 55 feet or the 52 feet observation. We see the same land at 35 feet. And I was no, taking people no, back you to don't. The point. No, you do yes, not. We do. not yes, we do. Yes, we do. It's lot. not there on a globe. Not possible to be seen. Fun, fun, fun. No, because, uh, because I've compared the, the two videos from, yeah, from yeah, the first yeah. and the second video. It doesn't and work you do unless you have line. a line of sight. That's another lie. Do, 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 right. Do. So, Nathan, you can, you you can check it very easily now. You can look at Mac Old Head and you can see the, the, the distance between it and the horizon are, are different. It's very obvious. What's very Nathan, obvious? I, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit confused, the Jeremy. The distance what? between the, the, uh, the base of Mac Old Head Lighthouse and the horizon is different between uh, the first video and the addendum video. Right, but you, on the first video, Jeremy, I didn't pan down to the left of the island. I was interested in what the floaty land was on, on the north side of the island. That's, that's irrelevant. Right. You just claimed you could see exactly no, 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 the same no, thing. It's irrelevant. Jeremy. So that, there's a 35 feet the observation being made of land that's about 100 feet high at 31 no, well, miles. Well, that isn't what Gem, the Glober, we thinks that's irrelevant. I love it. I love it. Flat Earth we're proof. Who cares? Who cares, man? Well, Flat Earth proof. Is. Who cares? I'm Jeremy. bored of you. Jeremy. You're just liars and I'm bored of you. Yeah, I'm, I'm bored of you. I've got yeah, no respect yeah. for you anymore, Jeremy. That's why I'm talking I've over you and no taking the piss out of you. I've got no respect for you, Nathan. You behave yeah, like, a, you behave guy. like you smear people for no reason, fool. with no proof, no Jeremy. nothing. How have you been taken in by on. these idiots? Jeremy. They've been Sorry. wrong about everything and you continue to be taken in by them. It's, it's Jeremy. beyond idiotic. Jeremy. Anyway, I said my piece. You're liars. You continue to lie. Yeah, Anthony, that's what I would do. If I was position, smearing people and lying you know, about people, well I'd go and call the people I'd well lied about liars. That's what people like if, you do, Jeremy. They go around telling everyone that everyone else is liars and calling everyone we liars. Can prove it. We when know, in reality, we know he's lying. you we are know, the disingenuous heard, guy you are. We, we You're out to smear people. The lie himself. There's no claims been made by I Anthony about video. his height. Anyone Only Google it. have made those claims, but you've gone out and were, smeared Anthony. Were you at the higher elevation? No, no, I wasn't. I can prove it. Here's a video that proves it that was from the higher elevation. That's what Anthony said. He lied. It's simple as that. No, afraid right. not, Jeremy. Bye -bye, Basically, boys. Jeremy, you are disingenuous and your only purpose yeah. is to smear people. That's your only reason for being here. He's made a simple claim. Here's what Google claim I'm at in height. And then he's stated the figure that's in the bottom right hand corner of Google. You've come along and said Anthony has lied about his height and he hasn't. That makes you a disingenuous person. You're out to smear. That's your only purpose. I've got no respect for you anymore. So now that he's gone, let's let's deal with the points that he said. He said that he has not heard anybody say anything over a hundred feet. Yeah, he didn't. Then when you when asked uh, when you asked him the question, what observer height would you put Anthony at? He said one hundred and six or one hundred eight. That, in his own words, is the people that claim that I was over a hundred feet. Lewis Hackett did the same thing. Um, Rumpus did the same thing. He started off by saying it was nearer to eighty. And then he said it was nearer to 100. So that's essentially over 100. I'm, I'm going to claim that that's over 100 because it is. They're all saying over 100. However, when the, Jeremy doesn't seem to remember what the actual claim is. The actual claim, regardless of the upper height, because we used that for the composite that Branty obtained, and we used that to identify things, but that wasn't the claim. The claim was at the 35 feet elevation, we see land that shouldn't be there on a ball. So, yes, we did use the composite, and yes, we did use that and, and argue numerous things over it. But the original claim asserted was that we see land at 35 feet that should not be there. And the reason why that's important is because although I could see more at the top of the hill, I could still see it when I was halfway down the hill towards the bottom. That's the point. Jeremy forgets that. Jeremy thinks that there's some, some kind of deceit or dishonesty going on. And the reality is this. If the Earth was a ball, we wouldn't see that land. So whatever that land is, be it Timbuktu or otherwise, if it's the Isle of Man, it drops behind the curve by some way. That's a problem. Jeremy doesn't see that. Jeremy sees the elevation as the issue, but forgets the whole point of the asserted claim, 
what's the land at 35 feet? That is the issue. Nathan, it'd be great if you'd show the clip where I was at the side of the caravans and then they can argue over the elevation from there. Nah, man, no can do. <laughs> I've, oh. I've decided, friend or foe, I'm not playing anyone's videos. I know you've been booted and it would be, would be nice, but you're on your phone and on Skype and that's just the way it is. The bottom line is, every time the debate took place in regards to the 35 feet elevation, because it was a position you could confirm, because you rotated your camera and showed where you were right next to the caravans. And that was your original video, your original assertion in terms of why can I see this land on the right? Is it Scotland? And everyone laughed their heads off. Oh, you can't see Scotland. You can't see Ireland. Blah, blah, blah. Laughed their heads off. That was from 35 feet. And there was plenty of pictures that were used with people compositing together. Little caravans on top of each other. And little men standing on top of each other. You name it. They all did it. They all claimed you were hugely in excess of 100 feet. We had yeah. um, people saying that you were 40 metres, which is like 130 feet or something, from the Ordnance Survey map. You know, 30 feet in excess of 100 feet. We've got people like uh, Lewis Hackett saying, easily 100, probably in excess of 120 feet up that cliff. You're like, guys, no. It doesn't matter what you want to claim is... Hello. Ah, we've got Chris. How are you doing, Chris? Boycott over then, take it. Sorry. No more boycott? <laughs> Jen Pandarin, we've had Tony, we've got you now, a Tim Osman. Boycott over, I take it. No, sorry, I, I got rid of him. I did that. Maybe I should have done that not as quick as I did, but that was down to me. Um, with regards to Miles, we've demonstrated that Miles has um, made a, a calculated estimate of his observer height to 40 feet, but we measured it to 29 feet down to the water level when he did his observation. That guy that has grossly exaggerated his elevation that claims it was an innocent uh, estimation has now put a comment in chat that says, Riley, you are not at 35 feet. The lower cliff is at least 60 feet. Your camera height was 80 feet. So, unless Even I've got now, a 20 they foot still triangle. Claim it. Let's put the picture back up again. Let's see if I can find it. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, we've got... It was on screen earlier when you had Google Earth on. So, people feel free to scroll back and check where... The two different locations are but the bottom line is this is what this is what we've got we've got them measuring admittedly the lowest part this goes on another hundred yards or so to the actual elevation point and the maximum that google earth quotes that is 52 feet that's the highest point but it's not like it goes suddenly up 100 feet somewhere along here far from it you know this is the bottom point 29 feet on google this is what they're measuring at this is their pole you know we would assume that this is a reasonable representation of a guy stood next to a pole that you can scale really easily. And there ain't no 120 foot cliff in front of him, far from it. But that's what these guys have been trying to argue, that it's out by a hundred feet. And it ends. It just ends. It simply isn't the case. It's not out by a hundred feet. Nowhere near. If it's out by a couple of feet, I'd be surprised. Now, if you want to argue that it's accurate to Google here. It roughly matches what they quote as elevation here. But when you go up about another 200 yards, suddenly it goes up 100 feet in the air. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Yeah. Jen Panda has come on and go, oh, we're not arguing about the height. We're arguing about the position. It's like the amount of times I heard you say 34 or 52, 34 or 52. Yes, I'll give you that I might be at the higher location. Yes, I'll give you that. The amount of times I Hello. heard you say it was unreal. For him to say, oh, no, it's not Nathan. about the height anymore. It's about the elevation position. It's like, what are you talking right, about? Nathan. Yes, Chris. Hello. Imagination is reborn in essential external reality. I just wondered what you thought about that. So what the hell does that have to do with them going out to St. Bees and measuring a point on the oh, map that's I, quoted not, at 29 not that feet? This, this What's it got to do with that? It's kind of, you know, goes over my head. Almost convinced me to be a flat earther, actually. But um, I don't know, I've been looking into a few things and apparently the invisible unfolds through personal belonging. And I just wanted your take on that. I want to know why loads of people have quoted Anthony as being 30 metres plus or minus I the no elevation idea. given on Google, I have no idea. when measured by your cohort. I can't speak to that. I'm All right, well, try, try. Your movement grows through subjective facts, so, you know, it's... 
a single particle is inherent in existential abstra- abstract just beauty. And, shite. You know, I've, I don't really know what else you. to, to You're say. Talking nonsense. You guys have asserted that he's massively in excess. Well, of 100 feet well up knowledge this cliff. does co-create reckless happiness. So I don't, yeah, I, I've I, seen I really you. I've listened to you on. About. I've listened and to you on Discord. Expresses Oi, positive I've listened to you say I'm these sorry, things on right, Discord. Now you're just babbling about nonsense because you're I'm basically not, a no, corner. I'm not. I mean, but right, okay, I, I know it's a bit ex- existential, but you know, if you if you really just think about it, the unpredictable is the ground of a of a symphony of love, and I don't know why you guys don't just embrace that. Stop arguing I'll embrace the fact that you guys have spent quite literally a month trying to discredit Anthony based on what he has quoted from Google, and when measured by your guys, it confirms that Google's not wildly inaccurate. If anything, it's out by a couple of feet. I think he's just rambling up for the sake of rambling. I think, forget about it. I think the thing, right, Jeremy, Jeremy claims that I, in some way, um, was higher than I was. And obviously that comes from a particular point that was given Google Earth. <laughs> Now, the reality is, when we asked Jeremy to calculate it, he calculated it in excess of 100 feet. Somebody's in. Yeah, I've just kicked him. Didn't say hello, just came in with his echoey screen. Can't be bothered to mute, can't be bothered to say hello. Goodbye. Yeah, basically, <laughs> these guys have just lied through their back teeth, claimed you're yeah. hugely at huge elevations. Not that that rescues them from the holograph- holographic universe that they think <laughs> they live in, in terms of what's presented in photographs. It doesn't change any of that, even if they were at these higher elevations. But the bottom line is, you're well under 100 feet. That's the reality of the situation. Nothing's yeah. going to change. Anybody that's claiming you're... 30 metres in excess of what it claims on Google has to show well, that, that, that Google has an inaccuracy, and they haven't. They've gone back and shown that it's about right. That's what they've shown yeah. from the shore. That's what we were getting to before with Miles, before Jeremy walked in, or before um, what's-his-face walked in. Miles was saying that he wasn't at 35 feet. He was at, well, 60 and then 80, he said. Well, you've seen the tape measure chucked down the side. Me and Ramsey have both measured it. Now, no matter what maths we use... It always comes down to a similar result. We always get plus or minus three feet, given um, the value that's on there. Mavis Gaming, say hello. Hello. Given the value that's on there. Mavis Gaming. Hello. Hello. Johnson Bowser. I said hello. Mavis. I said hello. Yeah, I can just hear echoing. I'm just listening. Yeah, Johnson Wiles is in as well, though. Recently. Can you say hello, Johnson? Hello? Hello, Johnson. Hi. I just... Uh, you remember Actually, uh, the streaming... Good to have you. Thank you. What can Good we do you for? <laughs> hello? What can we do for you, gentlemen? Uh, I just, I just wanted to remind you of when you lied about seeing Ireland, because you kept calling Gem a liar, and you, then you went back to the elevations. Oh, another slow coach. No worries. Let me explain it to you, Dawn Treader UK. So, so you Dawn, you can't see Ireland now. You're backing away from that. No, we can't see Ireland. That's correct. We did make so a mistake. Actually, technically, it's just me that made a mistake because what I asserted oh, was that it was Ireland. Oh, actually, Randy, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's establish what is the lie. Hang no on, lie. Another one. Why do you guys keep sniping me? I didn't say anything bad. I didn't. Nobody did. It's the people joining are sniping you. Anthony can't snipe you. He's not in the call. I'm not sniping you. I haven't ejected you. It's just people join to snipe. Nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid, Tony. I'm really sorry. So what is the... Um, we have to... All right, let's go back to the basics, okay? The video at 35 feet, if you want to argue over the height, go be my guest, but we've measured it, okay? It's relatively accurate. That shows land that should not be there if we live on a ball. It's way behind the curve of the earth. Okay? That is the point. So if you guys want to attack any part of the video, you should be attacking why the, how big the ball is. Because that land is evident in the fault in the video. It shouldn't be there. That's the argument. Anything else along them lines that, d- that goes off on a tangent is irrelevant. I don't mind addressing you though, Tony, as you've asked about the specifics of Ireland, so I don't mind going through them. I asserted it was Ireland based on the evidence that was presented to me. Chris has tried to represent what a ball would give you, 
if it was a ball 24,900 miles in circumference and he modelled the Isle of Man observation onto that ball, what we would see was what he presented. None of that will change. That model failed and the main focus point of that model was Morgold Lighthouse at 31 miles. That was the majority of the demonstration was done using that particular observation, which is why I put the screws to people like Tim Osman when they come on and start to assert that the Earth is a sphere. It isn't. And that has been absolutely unequivocally proven by the demonstration in QED. However, those models, including Google Earth, in terms of what Ranty was investigating, led us to believe that it was Ireland, so that is what we declared, me especially, and I've had to eat humble pie and declare that I was wrong. The models okay, led so me to believe that it was Ireland. Are you ready to eat more wasn't. humble pie? Sorry, say that again? Are you ready to eat more humble pie? Well, I can only eat as much humble pie as to say I was wrong about Ireland. The models you made me to believe it was Ireland and I was wrong. When you've lied so much, like, I haven't been lied. watching you for months, no, you've no, no. have lied. That's not yeah, lying. So let's see the evidence lie. to support the assertion that more humble pie is necessary. Yeah, it's going to come. Everything you say that is a lie, you're going to have to eat humble pie later because of it. It's not a lie. Right. I'm not eating so, humble pie because I've yeah. lied. I'm not conceding lies. lies. I'm not guilty. Lie. Of Massive lie. No, no, Pretending I don't have any guilt. There's no guilt involved here. I'm not guilty of lying. What I'm saying yes. is I was wrong. The model by both Google Earth and Chris's 24,900 mile sphere both led me to the conclusion that we could see Ireland. That is, in no, fact, incorrect. You made it up. The composite's too bad to tell. You uh, pretended no. you could see well, Ireland because you thought that was okay. better weight. Time weight. will tell in that regard, uh, Dawn Treader. We've yet to present the flat Earth equivalent, so time will tell in that regard. But okay. in the meantime, right, I'm I am happy to concede I was wrong. That's, weird. that's not so a that lie. Really that's not a lie. I get things wrong frequently. So what? That's not lies. Mistakes on purpose are lies. Not on purpose. I've just explained my reasons. Sorry, Dawn, do you not understand my reasoning? My reasoning is simple. The models Sorry. that I wish was shown led me to the conclusion that it was Ireland, and that's what I declared. That was wrong. That's not lying. That's being led by evidence to make an assertion, which is what I did. Once that was proven incorrect, which is what we've asked people to do, literally said debunk this claim. That's what we've invited people to do. And upon that time, I've conceded that I was incorrect. What's wrong with that? Why are you calling Jem a liar then if you're now just saying is. you made a mistake? He's just literally on this show told us that nobody declared the height to be over 100 feet. Then he declared it to be over 100 feet. Well, you did add a lot of confusion into your... Oh, really? Oh, wow, that's didn't. terrible. I couldn't care less. I deliberately added confusion. I deliberately obfuscated. I deliberately talked over him. That's what I did, because I've got no respect for him, Dawn. Remember how you don't like composites, but you used the worst composite ever to try and prove flat earth. Well, it's getting better all the time. Fortunately, Dawn... No, it's terrible. His sorry, girlfriend's Dawn, a photographer. Can you just pause while I reply? Just pause, it seems to be a bit like life. Jem. You're very wound up and agitated, but it's okay. Oh, just I pause. Can... Bear with me a second, Peter. So, just so you realise, they've gone back to the exact same observation point and got better images. Identical. No hyena looming, nothing making it, you know, refract higher or lower. Exactly the same positioning. So they've gone back and got really high resolution photos. So over time, the composite, which is absolutely repeatable, will improve because they can go back and get better shots. The initial tourist shots, yeah, they could have been better. They were exceptionally good, enough to pick out landmarks. However, that will improve because the observation doesn't change when you go back and repeat the observation. You would expect it to. Get if it's, hold on. You would expect it to if it's being brought back into our line of sight from a position where we cannot see it. With refraction, you would expect there to be variants there on a different day. There isn't, because the Earth isn't spherical, and nothing's being brought back from a line of sight we don't have with refraction. That's nonsense. So, we uh, refraction. Seems to be a lot of feedback. But you're allowed to use refraction to explain a construction. We haven't used it yet, but we will in the model. We can explain refraction with, with uh, a degree of accuracy that is unsurpassed by the globe. The globe is part of you, you say it again, please, Oh, dear me. You're all a bunch of liars, aren't you, really? When's it right to claim refraction? When's it right? Well, you can't just say that. You can't it's just say right, all lies. I mean, it's the whole, the whole globe's a lie. I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we've just been trolled. You guys have been proven wrong. The height that you have quoted is wrong. 
Absolute globe heads you were wrong. They've been proven wrong. The globe tards yeah. have got it wrong. You all ended up looking really stupid. The globe side has embarrassed itself. Completely. You've got it wrong. You know, Chris Monk brought a beautiful model up. It was beautiful, it was. And you guys can debunk it. It's not possible. Chris Monk's model. Funny old piece of blender work, that is. Well, I don't know how you could possibly debunk that because so it's just lots of distraction it's... going on. No, no concessions that you guys were the a maths. mile out in terms of the I mean, discrepancy you claim Google you, had. You, Heights you, are going to get forgotten about. Is this, is spot on. Is this an mean, attempt to brush it under the you, carpet? You put that WGSGSC in, and then you plug it in up, and it comes back, and it's flat. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. Yeah, the observation of Morgord Lighthouse can be repeated. Refraction. This perfect day you think you had on that Refraction one instance, that's that nonsense. Yeah, it's still, in exactly it's, 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 it's still in exactly the same place. It's still in exactly the same place under different well, atmospheric conditions. Well, I mean, if you conditions. look into it, and you know, you see the, the old seeing eye. It's not looming. That's all. That, that it's all. not looming up. It's not being loomed up by refraction. It's nonsense. Yeah, Nathan, you are aware that Ranty repeated that and seen Mac on Lighthouse again, exactly yeah, in the same position, that's what with I'm the saying. same amount of... That's exactly what I'm saying. The observation is yeah. repeatable, and it's in exactly the same place. So if you want to claim that slightly looming non-standard refraction hyena is bringing the lighthouse back from beyond a curve, it seems to be doing it in different conditions on different days to exactly the same position. So for me, that kind of debunks that it's refraction being brought back. But there we go. Fully totally agree. Just... Absolutely. Good. Don't good. You Glad you agree. Because the only but explanation did you thereafter... Because that leaves you with one explanation. Glad you agree. Because that leaves you with the only explanation being that it's a flat plane. That's the only explanation left if you haven't got slightly looming non-standard refraction to bring it back from beyond the curve. If you haven't got that, what you left with is it's a flat plane. About, that's the observation that you're seeing. about the Illuminati all seeing It's all right, you guys right, troll. That's all it's about all right. Lying. I would do the same, man. If I was being absolutely obliterated by a Tesco van driver, I would troll me too. That's what I would do. But that's the bottom well, line here. That's, if that's all they've got, Globes that's being completely got, obliterated we by a common man. It's fun. We can do it. If we're I would troll too. On the flat side, then there's you tried to get out of it by it. claiming the heights were much higher, but you failed. Failed miserably. Your hologram yeah, world is falling apart around you. Absolutely failed. Yep. Absolutely. That's correct. Could you bring up the Chris Monk uh, model? Because it's a beautiful model, it is. Yeah, we've not demonstrated it yet. We will. Well, just as it is, because, you know, I think everyone here should see it, see the beauty and oh, see, will. see the, oh, you know, will. the, the fine detail in it. Definitely, they will. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. Wonderful. Brilliant. It is brilliant. The Earth is obviously flat. And no amount of nonsense well, from globe heads in terms of the elevation of the observer agree, is going to undo agree, but, that. You know, if it, if, no if, amount if of nonsense and lies can undo it. Well, if we could bring up that beautiful module that Chris Monk made so we can all see it again. We will, just, you will. Just take a moment we will. to marvel in its glo glory. You will, it you will marvel great. in its glory. You will, you will have that opportunity. Be sure to subscribe. Is it 33 kilometres thick, our flat Earth? Yes, it seems to be the case that it's 33 millimetres, 33 kilometres thick bit, when reduced we using the bit, WGS you know, 84 flattening the factor. Bottom, that's like correct. Another world underneath, and that's when we, that's like, when we flatten you know, you know, so a hypothetical geoid. People in Australia upside down. Well, maybe on the other side of the flat disc, there's people like just like us, and that's maybe what they're hiding. Heavy, heavy trolling ahead, it seems. Has that ever occurred it's to very you? Heavy trolling. Because say, since Chris has brought this beautiful model out, that's what I think it is. That's lovely. So this is the best response that the Globeheads have got from them being absolutely undone with their nonsense assertions that it's 30 meter discrepancy on Absolute Google. This is the response. Nonsense. Beautiful response, guys. Love it. It's just ridiculous what they come out with. It I is. mean, if if the flat Earth is in fact 33 metres thick, you know, I mean, the mass no, that's, is that's a measurement out. for the WGS-84. That's based yeah, on a hypothetical yeah, geoid absolutely. being flattened. The mass nothing, to do with, nothing to do with the globe, really. It's a hypothetical that geoid that they flatten. Is in fact, yeah, it's in fact 33 metres thick. So if that is the case, then maybe we should get, you know, someone to dig down and see if we can get to the to underneath. 
who knows what's there. Yeah, you can't dig through a flattened hypothetical geoid. No, you can't, but you can dig through a flat earth. Yes, you could dig through a flat earth. The earth is indeed flat, as demonstrated by Morford Lighthouse. Do you think we should do Lighthouse. a GoFundMe campaign for that? For what? For people to just look out to the window and realise the world's flat? Kilometers. No funding needed. People can just observe the obviousness of their reality. But, I mean, we're going to need some equipment, Nathan. I mean, come on, be No realistic. equipment needed. Just your eyes. It's obvious. No curve. Just just be realistic. You know, we, we, we're going to need money. Don't need any. Down are, you are, you are you deaf? Are you deaf? And maybe, maybe, deaf? who knows? No money needed. There might be people under there. Just no by us. And who knows? Maybe their government's lying to them too, telling them it's a globe. Yeah, they are lying to you about it being a globe or a hypothetical geoid, whatever you want to use. I don't mind. Well, we're definitely lying. There's just two ways about that. I mean, yeah, anyone can see that. Yeah. Well, some people don't. Some people would rather lie about the observation height when. Oh, why would you lie? Eyes. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. Ridiculous to lie about something so simple, so so easy to measure. And how did Chris Smart ca- do these calculations? I mean, I would really like it if we could just bring up that beautiful watch. Just beautiful. It's well, you keep asking me to bring up Chris Monk's model. And he's not here. You realise that, right? You realise the, realize the absurdity of what you're asking. You're asking me to do some. But you brought up the other day. I mean, I saw it the other. I saw it the other day. Yeah, I said it three times. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Oh, I've absolutely to subscribed. Date. I mean, I've been subscribed Excellent. for some time now. You're a good man. Thank miss, you for your subscription. I wouldn't would miss a single of your shows. I mean, it's just good. It's just then you wonderful. definitely won't great. miss Chris Monk presenting his model. That's brilliant news. Good, good to hear. Brilliant. Wonderful. It is wonderful. Wonderful. Hello. Hello. No. No. How are you doing? Chris Christman presenting his model. Hello. That's brilliant news. Good, good You've got your page. Hello. Brilliant. Can you mute wonderful. it? It's wonderful. Hello. Wonderful. Useless idiots. Oh, I thought it was Spurs trying to join. Well, whoever it was, they couldn't manage to mute their watch page. Well, I, I, I fixed Spurs chemo with the whole ISS, ISS thing. They, they've not even been able to bonk that. I mean, it clearly comes in from two different directions. How do you explain that on, on, a, on a globe Earth? You can't do it. It's not possible. So, yeah, it's been a good day. Globe heads with their assertions about 30 metre day. discrepancies. Really Wonderful. cold down totally here. Totally debunked in by Bristol, the globe heads. But, Wonderful know, day. Wonderful day. That's what we can do about really it. Really pleased. And the best they've got to address it is this. <laughs> these trolls talking nonsense. Yeah. That's the best they've got. Isn't it, fu- well, isn't well, it funny well, that Jerry's coming in? What else can you do? I mean, you just and have it's to go up with the trolls and expose them for what they are. Speaks volumes, else. I'm just surprised that the Globies don't realise that Jeremy himself has just destroyed his own credibility by claiming that nobody has said anything above 100 feet. And then the next sentence out of his mouth was that you were at 106 feet. <laughs> and the Globies don't realise that. Yeah, he doesn't even know what height he's talking about. He doesn't know which observation position he's talking about. He doesn't know anything, basically. I actually don't know what Jeremy's issue is anymore. At first, it's I they don't have an issue. That... It's been destroyed. The height issue is now null and void, and they've got nothing else to argue about, so they're just trying to pick stuff out of the air. Well, I'm just surprised that Jeremy's... Jeremy's position, I think he's doing what Miles did when Miles started off with the um, the... Bibby Wave Master 1, he made a mistake. And rather than back down and admit it and say, do you know what, I've made a mistake here. Ranty was correct. Yeah, well, you know, he made a mistake. So carried on and made video after video that, and hang out. He made a mistake, hangout. put his hands like, up to where the store. Jeremy's doing the exact same thing. Who's doing the same thing? Anthony, who's doing the same thing? I'll sort them out. Tell me who it is. I'll pay him a visit, you know. Just reading a message from one of my friends. Can you hear me, Nathan? 
Can you hear me? Nathan? No, no, I can't hear you. Well, is this bloke, his name's Tony. You can't hear me, Nathan? Yeah, I can hear you. I uh, hope you're all enjoying the debate thus far. We've got about three quarters of an hour left on this debate. If you'd like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the Hangout. Number one, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcomed back on the next stream. If you'd like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they're live, and a link in the info box once the video has rendered. As I say, there is about three quarters of an hour left on this live stream, so if you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. Forty-five minutes left. Great. Wonderful. Bring up Chris Mock's model. Let's all bask in its glory. Because it's wonderful. It's beautiful model it is. Cool, man. Yeah, big it up some more. 33 kilometers thick, Nathan. That's the WGS 84. That's not Chris's model. This is WGS 84, is it? Where, where does it say it's 33 kilometers? Can you show us that? Yeah, you just go and watch the video. WGS well, I did watch QED. the video. It was great. It was a beautiful video, but you know, look at the much else to talk about, you know, so bring it up. It's a beautiful model. Everyone should see it. Nathan, I'm going to have to step out because I've got to be somewhere. But I went going on in some oh, life credits. Go, so I shall bit. No worries. Good to see you. Hopefully see you again tomorrow, Anthony. Have a good day. <laughs> good I'll luck with the rest of the fest. So go. Nathan, 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 can you hear me? That's gross. Are you just here to eat your dinner? Because I'm going to kick you out if you are. Bye bye. Eat your dinner somewhere else. That you, Ali? How are you doing? Uh, you, Ali? Hey. Oh, hang on. Yeah, let me turn that thing down. Uh. There you go. Fun day, huh? Oh, I've got a better echo here. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting a better echo here, Mason. You're sounding nice and clear to me now. The echo's all gone from my end. All oh, right, okay. That's fine. I don't know how that is. Hang on. 
So that was the response to yesterday. I don't know if you've been watching, but yeah. So we point out that they've measured a part of Google Earth that's quoted at 29 feet. Looks about 20, 25 at best. And that's the response. An absolute button of trolling. That's the best they've got to respond to it with. Amazing, isn't it? Jem yeah, came it in and said it's not about the height, it's about accent, the position. Yeah. Pretty bad <laughs> accent from Chris there. <laughs> yeah, fun. I didn't mind it till he started chewing I, I on the mic. I, I, think, I think Alan B should come back. I'm going to miss him. I don't think he's going to come back again. It's a shame because he was quite entertaining. Very amusing. So, they, they, I don't know what yeah. it is with these funny voices and, you know, I don't know. I don't get it. I think they're just Jimmy Brown. I think they're just jealous of his talents and want to mimic him. They actually, they probably actually, uh, uh, what do you call it? They look up to Jimmy Brown. I think he's kind of one of their favourites. So I think they just, you know how you mimic, you tend to mimic people that you admire. Or it's, I think maybe that's what they're doing. They're trying to outdo Jamie Brown on the, the voices kind of thing. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it is funny. But still, that it's yeah. nice to see that that's the reaction to the whole 30 meter in elevation, you know, escalation being totally debunked by them. Fun, fun, fun. Well, well, I actually, I actually just missed. Uh, I've missed. Uh, uh, I've just got in from work there, so I, I, I've just actually joined. I just, I just switched on and I heard you were still going. So I'm like, oh, all right, and then I just heard them all. <laughs> Accusing you of lying. I don't know why they keep using this word. You're a liar. I think you know. I thought the definition was to to lie would be to, or my definition would be to uh, to purposely or to intend to purposely deceive or something like that. And I don't, I don't think how that's correlated with maybe being mistaken. You know, or 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 getting something wrong. You know, imagine, imagine a, a school teachers. You got a sum wrong, you get called a liar. You know, I mean, it's pathetic. They're trying to, yeah, they're just trying to attach that that word, but keep repeating it. When yeah. I don't think, to be fair, I, I, I did think the it's same. It's a strange though. way in which they're using that word. I did the same to Jem Panda. Just so you know, I've done exactly the same thing to him for exactly that reason, and just started calling him a liar. It's like you know, clearly you've got it wrong, Jem, and I'm going to just call you an outright liar because. As far as I'm concerned, he is disingenuous and he has literally been out to smear people. That much I would stand by because that's what his purpose was. You know, he's claimed that Anthony has lied about his height. It's like Anthony has gone to Google and looked at the number it gives. That's it. So to claim he's lying, to claim Ant for Gem Panda to claim that Anthony is lying when all he's done is taken a value off a piece of software he's testing is just outrageous. You know, it's so disingenuous, it's untrue. And it, it, to me, it just says your only purpose in doing so is to smear that person because it's a straw man. It's not true. Anthony hasn't claimed a height. Google is what's th been used and it's never been you know, declared any other way. So there we go. That's my reasons for you know, using his own tactics against him and calling him a liar today on this show. Yeah, well, there's definitely, there's definitely, you know, there's a, there's definitely a, an effort being made for them to use it because they seem to use that word all they use it on everybody that you know just says anything that's like their favorite go-to word if they can't think of anything else it's like the default word to go to they just call uh, people liars but i mean that's part of the tactics did you did you see that felt did you watch that video uh, the the video with that interview did you ever get a chance to see it the interview with jordan peterson um, I, I, I do vaguely remember you sending me the link. I can't remember if I watched it or not. If you talk about it, it might jog my memory. All right, well, I have. All right, it was just basically it was it was it, it was a typical example of it. it was a great example of you know what what to expect when you enter into a debate with someone that's not going to accept. It's, don't see it as a debate. They see it actually as as a you know a battle kind of thing. And if you watch, if you watch that, uh, if you watch that uh, video, you'll see that. And this, the thing about it was, you know, this was this was Channel Four. This was on Channel Four News. And I remember in the old days, you know, interviewers used to be harsh, a lot, a lot harsher than what. But this, this was just like a pure on attack. You know, twisting every single thing that he said. She would say, 
oh, so you are saying this? It was just, it, it just, it, it just reminded me of the uh, the type of responses that we get of our, uh, you know, people that we are disagreeing with about the shape of the earth. It was just that uh, it's quite really interesting, and it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's an exaggerated example because she was, I was, I was disgusted basically. It was probably the worst uh, interview I've ever seen in my life. Regarding that, because he he's he's just talking about certain aspects of society at the moment, and he's become really popular. He's a clinical psychiatrist, and just I think in the last two years he's he's become you know popular, and and he's just getting attacked by every single liberal or left left wing group or whatever, whatever uh, or whatever type that's against him. And they just make up stories, and it's just it's just a reflection of what what happens, what's happening in this discussion, but on a a, a way larger scale. You know, the he's he's had his life at uh, you know his life threatened. He get he gets two a day or something like that, three a day. It just seems a a, a strange phenomenon that uh, there's actually people like that, and that's that's what I'm seeing with a lot of these ball earthers. How you doing? We've got a new guest. Guess. I'm doing well, thanks. Yourself? Very well. Good to have you back. Fantastic. Um, oh, you guys want to wrap up what you're saying? Go for it. I'm just gonna. I'll mention I'm finished now. Oh. I was just babbling just to pass ten minutes on you. Oh, fair enough. Um, so, what did you guys think of that SpaceX um, launch? Schlagel. Ah, okay. I'll answer it. You know, just another. Just another rocket, rocket going high up into the air. I don't know about the car. I mean, the, the car's quite funny. I, I don't, you know, at twenty eight thousand uh, dollars a kilo to get things up into space, it's it's a lot of money to be spent on. What's he doing, or what are they doing with the car? Kind of thing. Junk. Uh, in it. They're just empty and junk. Yeah. And from there. what I know, from what I know, the. Uh, the car was just basically to have weight um, since it was a test flight for the um, Doobie Watsits. Um, they normally, they, apparently, they used to back in the old days, I don't know what they used prior to that, but they used like concrete or something to simulate the weight of something important. But they just went, bugger it, we'll just launch a car with a man in it, a tribute to what's his face, the guy who sang the song and, you know, did its thing. And um, we, we saw after the launch um, for quite a number of hours, I think it's still going actually, um, the cameras are still live. Not sure if they still are, but they were live after the launch. And no fisheye lens, different camera angles around the uh, car and on the blood blood bloke's helmet or next to his helmet. Um, and you can see him go through space towards the Mars. Um, and you see the Earth in the background and it's nice and curved. Um, and we know it's not rendered or anything because we saw the thing launch. But also, um, the since that's live and in pretty damn good quality, the ray tracing that would be needed to like um, simulate the light's reflection on the surface of the car and so forth would be insane. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that. that uh... It just looks right. I've got a problem. I don't know. I, I, I believe there's satellites up there, but it's like when I see these, uh, this film from space, there's just there's something not right about it, and I can't put my finger on it. Right, they're doing some kind of as as a friend of mine, Chris F. E. Jackson, said, you're only going to see the part of the Earth that is lit. You don't. So beyond that dark patch, it could quite easily be uh, further. Other lands, just in my opinion, but it is, as I say, it's uh, yeah, and and that bit about rendering, they can render in real time. They've got the tech for that, but I'm not saying they're doing that. You know, I don't. I think I think they're definitely putting these things up there, and I can understand why people have a problem with it because when you do watch it, <clears throat> they do a uh, they, they go from going straight up to uh, actually the, the one yesterday it was kind of. Uh, it, it, it came into like horizontal, but I mean, that, you know, that's that's just so that it, it hits the uh, our atmosphere for some reason at the right angle, 
to get into the parking lot, but there's a parking lot, but apparently about 100 miles up. And uh, it just seems yeah, a bit strange. Was... You know, I think I think my, my theory is when you had that Operation Fishbowl and you fired, then rockets straight up and exploded. That was actually, that, that was them uh, testing how to get out how to get out of the atmosphere and you realise, well, we can't go straight up. All that rubbish about, oh, we're putting it over the the sea, you know, just for safety reasons. That's, that's I, I don't buy into that. There's a reason why it is. It must be easier to get in there because if you look at most launches, they usually head, uh, you know, across the equator, you know, in, in that kind of direction. But they have to go in at an angle. Well, they have to go in at an angle. So I believe they're actually entering into something. You know, to, to come in at the right angle and hit that hit that uh, parking lot, but I don't believe it's anything to do with falling. It falls to the earth. Sorry, I'm going. Well, it's all good. Um, I, I know, for example, China and Russia, they don't worry about it so much because they do it out in the in the sticks, right? You know, um, there is people um, that have the, the debris from their rockets, you know, hitting you know their towns and so forth. Um, but it's so out in the woods, it, it's like, it's unlikely that it would hit any densely populated area for that very reason. But you still got people, you know, finding the, the debris of, you know, the canisters and stuff that fall back to Earth and all that um, from their, their launches, China and Russia. Um, but it is for safety reasons when they go over the, the um, water. But in this case, I think they went somewhat of a different direction to put it into... I, can't, I don't know exact details of it, but they went, um, yeah, slightly different to park it quicker into the, the the night side of the earth or something like that. I was watching a video by um, uh, some YouTuber. I think he worked with NASA. I, I don't know, but it seems like he did. Um, uh, shit. I forgot his name. Some bull chap. And um, I was just watching a video then, and he said that that's what they were going to do for him. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, so, so you think we do have satellites in, in orbit and, and all that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, they're just not, they're, they're not, well, they're doing, they're doing what they say, but there's a, there's, there's a 100% ulterior motive to it. You know, it's all to do with security and stuff. People can laugh at it, but most of the satellites up there are military, and they've got military. Most satellites that go up there and get military attachments put on them to do their bit as well. You know, it's written into the deal for probably you know for satellite companies uh, for uh, to launch up there. They'll have a deal written in that you know the military can piggyback. It makes it cheaper. You know, for example, did you know that um, like? Um, like all these rockets, that, for example, Elon Musk and all these people that are building rockets and uh, putting their experiments on and satellites and stuff like that. If that blows up, it's the American public that pays for it because the government underwrites that they actually insure these rockets. And that's, it's like so that they can tempt companies to, you know, make the effort of, uh, you know, building the things. So that's a little sweetener. So they don't really lose any money. So it's, it doesn't matter. You see a rocket go up, it's just cost... The American taxpayer money. So, not sure about the money. You know, they, they, they do. Have, I mean, well, what do you, so yeah, but wait, one second, I'll, I'll, I'll just, no, no, I'm sorry. I just finished because this is this is like a thing. I, 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 that Tesla, I mean, his company. You know, if they want, if they, I don't see why a public the public should fund it. When most a little thing hit me, these in these street street interviews, people don't care about space. But the amount of money, and then they really don't. The majority of people don't give a, a, a flying whatever hoot about space. It's not important to them. So I don't see if, so if you ask people, would you rather give them, uh, this company, 50 million? There's such a minority of people that would say, yeah, yeah, give away our tax money, you know, instead of giving a bit of tax relief to us. Yeah, yeah, spend it on space. It's So, I mean, it's what the people want is to better humanity. I don't see how, if, if people want to go about investigating what's up there, they should pay for it themselves. And, and you know, the population of the world shouldn't have to pay for something that they've, that's not going to do them any good whatsoever. It's very interesting to fantasy boys and stuff like that. I used to love space and imagine what it'd be like uh, travelling about the place. But there is a money aspect yeah, to it. Yeah. 
I'm not sure about the finances, but I mean, yeah, I mean, sure, there's quite a few that have a, a military intelligence asset, you know, for it, like SpaceX a few weeks ago, I think it crashed and failed. I don't know if they recovered it, but... Hello, um, everybody. Alan C. Hello, Alan. How are you doing? Hello. Don't worry, Nathan, your favourite content provider's here. Thank you. Hey, Thank Alan. Good to be here. Thank you Good to help you bite me. <laughs> I got sniped earlier. Uh, no, okay. So what do you think about Satellites, Alan? I quite like that song by Lou Reed, Satellites of Love. Do oh, you know that's, well, that's, that's going back a bit, mate. You're showing your age. Transformer album. <laughs> Good album. Right, I, I, I haven't got it's album. great album, isn't it, Nathan? It is. I like that album. I like that song, too. Yes. It was the B-side to guess which track. Tell me, I don't know. Walk on the Wild Side. Oh, cool. That's which is the best Lou Reed song ever. Um, not sure about that. Well, about my favourite, first... my favourite Lou Reed song. Some of the early Velvet Underground's rather wonderful. Sorry, who who is that? Australian? Are you Australian? Are you? Yeah, I am. What's yeah. your name? Sorry, who do I call, do I call you? Nat or the National? Oh, you just you, you just come in Nat. I suppose, or Wong. Nah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, um, I, I was going to say yeah. before um, that yeah, the, SpaceX a few weeks ago, a month ago, yeah, they, they launched one, and I think it, I don't know if they recovered it, the, the satellite, but it's from the National Reconnaissance Office. Um, a few month, a few months prior to that, they launched one into space successfully, and NASA a few months before that, uh, Enroll Thirty Eight, I think it was. Um, so they they do put you know military assets in play. So that's one of the advantages of having satellites and so forth, right? It, it's the next level above, you know, spy planes and all that type of thing. You know, in the Cold War, the, the CIA learned the hard lesson of that, that U-2 spy plane that was shot down, and there's a good movie made about it, actually, with um, the, the actor's name. Anyway, um, Bridge of Spies, fantastic film. But, um, yeah, you know, you know it, it, to do that, they can launch stuff up into space, and, and so, from there, you know, well, if they can get into space, then they can get further and further into space because nothing's stopping them. And with cameras live or not live, we can see the whole curvature of the Earth, like that, like that car footage. Yeah, but did we see the whole Earth? I watched. I watched that. I, I did right. actually watch some of it. I heard about it. Did you actually see a picture of the whole Earth? Oh yeah. Right, yeah. okay, I'll go back and look at the end of it because I, I, I caught some of it. Uh, yeah. Just type uh, into YouTube um, Red um, tab, the road, test stuff. Cars, the road, road stuff. stuff. Yeah. That's the road and stuff. Live footage or something like that. I think it's still kicking. Um, Was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, and you can see the, the full curvature of the earth from different angles, and it's just be it, it's beautiful. Um, Oh, I've seen the cut. I've seen the bit they were showing the uh, the curve. Uh, uh, I've seen that bit, but I didn't see a picture of the whole, you know, the whole earth. And I don't know. Do, do you honestly say right? See, and this is the thing that gets me when when I do because I know the satellites. I know satellites are up there. Me, I don't know. It's confusing, but the point is, every uh, that sun it just looks too close. I don't mean it looks too close. It looks very close. Very very close. The the sun. Sorry, did you say? Yeah, the sun, yeah. When you see the sun, in the, I mean, I've, I've looked at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of, uh, you know, space footage and all that kind of stuff, and it's that's it's one thing. And the moon, if they ever catch the moon, it's always the same face that we see. Yeah, it's a tidal Earth. rock. Yeah, so, so with, with yeah, the uh, moon, it's, it's a tidal funny. rock. Isn't but... it funny? But wait a minute, isn't it funny, all the photographs... Uh, from the, you know, from space, it's always it's always got the moon, and it's always facing you exactly. And it's, no matter where they are up when you go around it, when they pass it, they would have to pass it at the exact same perspective, you know, uh, angle of, because it is always always. Uh, you never see a little bit past the bunny ears or whatever. You never ever see it. Well, that little bit rounded, and it spins at some point. It has to, you know, it does spin. It's just well, funny how they've never caught a photograph. 
uh, like that. We call, call it sides of it, I'd assume. But I mean, for, for the most part, I mean, no, like no, that's, for, that's that's, point. Yeah. us in the southern hemisphere, like we see it upside down. You know, it's a bit of a flip. Um, but with the sun, if they used to think it's called polar lenses, which um, removes like all that lens flare and stuff you see, you could even do it with clouds. And you just see this really small little dot. It, it looks close because of how bright the damn thing is. But you have one of those um, little covers or lenses over the top of it. It looks really small, really small. Well, um, I, I've, I've seen some film. I think it was um, what was his name? Um, uh, Jim Panda found a film. It was actual video of um, of the Earth from a from a satellite old video time i think i can't remember what it's called something star i think i downloaded the video Kim, right as they were looking at the earth you could have swore it was the uh, the sun because it was just pure it was just like a bright it was uh, sorry it looked like the moon uh, because it just looked like a bright uh, ball in the sky you couldn't make out the land it, it was as bright it was almost as bright as the sun if you know what I mean, so I, I'm wondering how, you know, so if they're using filters uh, to filter out the uh, the light, I don't think we're actually, uh, I just think it's a lot different up there than it is what they're, they're saying. Even the astronauts said that it was like they were in a black and white world. Rather, you know, when they were outside, when they were on the moon, apparently, they said it's just like black and white, seeing black and white. There's no colour or something like that. Um, has it been a good show? Nathan, has it been a good show? Yeah, great. Uh, have you have you been arguing with people today? It's a debate show. Come on, talk to Uncle Alan. Yeah, I just said it's a debate show. Have you been kicking people? You seemed angrier earlier. No, it wasn't me that kicked you. Sorry, somebody joined and sniped you out. It wasn't me. Uh, they're, trying, Alan, Alan, they're, trying to, they're, they're trying to oppress your world, man. They're trying to oppress you. Your own, your own ilk are trying to oppress you, getting the word uh, across, Alan. It's like well, a conspiracy. Boys will be boys, Ali. Boys will be boys. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're brilliant, mate. <laughs> when are you coming round to fix my garden? Oh, uh, well, uh, my passport's on the way. I, fi I finally, uh, I, I made a mistake. Um, I tried to be smart and say uh, my last, because I lost my passport, my last uh, passport photographs, like, uh, they're four years old. I couldn't be bothered going to get other photographs. I used them and they spotted it after about a month so they they sent them back and said we want up-to-date photographs so i sent them last week so maybe during the summer i'll come around and sort them brilliant you get a wee drawing you tell me you tell me what you want what you want done get a picture get a nice image of what you want if you want to entertain your friends or sit about and... what i want is i want a lawn with a weeping willow in the no. corner and perhaps a tuft of trees seriously come on too. Oh, sorry, I ruined your tough wow. trees joke. Sorry, Alan. I thought you were just going to start literally going through gardening quotes and you had a joke there. I'm so sorry. No, I said I wanted some, some lawn, a weeping willow, a tuft of trees, and perhaps <laughs> a, a cliff face for Anthony to stand on and we could Brilliant. play Guess His Height. How high do you want the cliff to be? 100 feet plus? Yes. <laughs> Is he 35 feet? Is he 55 feet? 100 feet. Is he on a hang glider? Cy Cypress forget. Get a Cypress. Or a Lilani. Lilani. Uh, if you get if you get them, they grow, I think I think it's something like a meter a, a year or a meter and a half, I think. A year, if you want to get quick grown. Well anyway, anyway, back onto the satellites. Uh, it's not gardening Back onto now. The oh, no, we're off to gardening. We'll talk about gardening in private. Did you watch the launch last night? Uh, that, well, yeah, I was just talking about it. Yeah, I, I watched. Uh, yeah, did I watch? 
I watched it and then I found the one with the car. What did you think of the car? Um, didn't do us any favours. Yeah, I know there was. Yeah, there was a lot of. But yeah, baby, but you know what? I'd, why you no? Know, what are they, have they got it in a swimming pool? You know what I mean? It's stuck there. You know they've stuck it. But you know, but it does look rather. Yeah, maybe do you reckon just, that's Keith, Ali? Do you reckon that's Keith Moon driving? <laughs> 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 he liked to get high. Uh, quite, 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 quite possibly. <laughs> or, it, or it could be uh, what's what's his name? Ah, oh, I forgot. That it. guy uh, from the Libertines. No, no, the <laughs> no, the guy that hit the tree with the mini. Oh, T Rex. T Rex. Yeah, what, what was his name? Mark Bowling. Mark Bowling. Mark Bowling. That's the dude. Yeah, maybe maybe they kept him alive. Maybe he didn't die. I'm sure Pete Shears got something to say. I'm sure when that, Mark Boland died, though, yeah, he passed Mark his Boland hair on to David Essen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what did you think about the? What did you think about the launch then yourself? Without being rude, it gave me the horn. Right. Okay. Well, it does look like a big penis, right? A nice bit of. Uh, you know, a, a, a bit of uh, a bit of male, you know, phallic symbolism going on there because it does look like it a looked, big piece. It looked like some amazing thrust. Yes, yeah, was it forty-eight like engines? I don't know, but it's a lot of energy. Yeah, I think they're working on. They're, I think they're actually what uh, working on. Uh, or if I've read somewhere, if I'm writing here, and that uh, electric. They're, they're trying to work out if they can do. I think, do you know what I was thinking? When I was looking at that guy in, uh, in the car, I've I seen another thing there where hmm, helicopter now, a one-seater. If you have a look at it on YouTube, it's just like a, a scaled-up version of a drone with six, you know, the six the axis and a movement and stuff like that. And I just thought, I'd stick one, they might stick one, up, uh, one of them up into space and fly about with that. Well, I mean, they did um, I mean, they do did one of those years ago those with the uh, um, uh, Mars rover. Mars rover. But what was that? Sorry? Sorry? What, what was that you said there? Sorry, no, I missed that. Um, the Mars rover, a few years ago, they sent one. Um, well, sorry, a few years ago, it landed. And then I think it was... Early two thousands, they sent it. Uh, I can't recall the exact details. Um, that's still going. Did it find you water? Right. Oh, well, here's a question for you: Do do you guys think that you know these planets are as far away as they say? Yeah, they've been triangulated. Yeah. You, can, yeah. um, you, can, you need to have a. Do you know how they uh, you know determine the baseline? I'm sorry, how they determine the baseline. You know, the baseline, if you're going to triangulate, you have to have a baseline, and it's it's actually helpful to have uh, three points, and then you can uh, triangulate, like in a three, uh, 360, you can cover an area. If you've got three points, uh, a three-point baseline, an A, a B, and a C, it's easier, to, uh, uh, you can near enough triangulate. Uh, yeah. Um, establish any direction from them three points kind of thing. You know, it's kind of accurate, but I'm wondering how they, you know, what baseline uh, do they use? You know, if they're going to look, use that, uh, whatever, trigonometry or whatever you call it. Um, I mean, just, I, I wouldn't have a clue, but I mean, just heading over to NASA's website and see what they say about it. Um, so I could, NASA measuring the distance. Um, that's what this is. I, I, know, I know one experiment, I know one experiment that they did. It was, I was, I don't know, maybe about 100 or 200 years ago, they were, if, if I remember rightly, is at a certain time of the year, they, uh, they decided, they, they took, they took a, a, a measurement of the angle of a planet or something or the, a star, and then what mm -hmm. they did was they waited six months till the Earth was on the other side. They, they took a measurement of the same star, and they used the the distance from where they assumed that they were, 
you know, like six months before to where they are now, and they use that as a measurement, as a is the actual baseline. And, and when I, you know, when I hear things like that, to me, that's not scientific. And and if you're talking about bouncing lasers off of stars, hundreds of light years or thousands of light years away, it's it's, it's absurd because that information, that star, it, you know, what I mean, it's going to take that long to get there. And it'll take that long to get. Yes, I, I mean, don't, uh, yeah. I don't, um, I, I don't know the exact yeah, details. That's, that's I, I know there that. is one triangulation that you're talking about before. It's one of them. Um, I'm sure they've got a plethora of methods that they've got on their website that outlines, you know, what they do and so forth. Um, uh, what about Mars? I'm on, a, I'm on a NASA Mars website or something. Um, you know, because you have to, you have to know exactly what, what position. You know, actually, I mean, that's yeah. a problem when that's a problem when you know everything's kind of moving about you. Well, you I mean, it, it, it's a, it's a problem if you don't know. But I mean, these guys obviously know, um, you know, that they've got the methods behind them. They know the distance, right? That that's that's sorted. Um, so you know, once once you do a bit of research around and um, try and find well, out know, the distances. Is, this is the thing that oh, yeah. I, I do, I, you know, I, I was always interested in space, you know what I mean? And I still am, but I'm in a whole other uh, aspect of things because I do, I know it's up there. I know there's something up there, right? What yeah. it is, you know, we can only speculate or believe what they tell us it is. And if if I, all I'm reading about satellites, moon landings, and I'm looking at it, it's all military organisations that are, doing that kind of research and understanding the mentality, how important security is or how high, you know, security is involved in everything, right? And then I'm thinking, well, why would they tell us what it is? It might well be a ball, but they're not telling us what space is, or it might be flat and there might be, it might be a, a liquid, some kind of liquid or some kind of substance or We're talking about something the no, I'm talking about outside in space. Sounds like well, I mean, we've got we've got commercial we've got commercial satellites and so forth. I mean, when I had a subscription to IHS Jane's, um, you know, I, I could interact with the the satellites from um, uh, that they were using with uh, Airbus Defence and Space, right? Um, so they had a partnership and still do actually, um, or use all source analysis. You know, you can put in the thing, you know, the the um, information you want and you, they'll give the coordinates and you can zoom in and out, interact with the satellite images and so forth. And so they have commercial, that's the security side of things, but I mean, they do have commercial available, you know, for humanitarian and so forth. Yeah, this, so. Is, this is the point, yeah, that the commercial side of it, they'll only be, they'll only be able to, um, uh, they'll be restricted in actually what information they're allowed to gather and, um, you know, uh, make public, because then there's no point having security then, is there? So we're, we're definitely getting spoon-fed. I mean, that's just logical that, that if they make a big deal about security up in space and stuff like that, they're not going to let any company go up there and just film willy-nilly and stuff like that. There'll be sensitive uh, points on the planet that they don't want to get filmed. So, I mean, it, it's just sense to Nathan, have to Nathan. adhere to protocol. Nathan, did you see the picture I posted for you yesterday? Are you going to retract that you called me a liar? Did you see Ranty's red shoes? Not at all. I didn't see Ranty at all. I saw, I saw some shoes, and I saw something that resembled a cliff. It didn't you really. You called me a liar, though. Well, it's not depicting a tape running out off Apologies. the reel halfway down the Come hill, on. is it? Come on. Sorry, did it depict a tape measure <laughs> flying off the reel halfway down the hill or not? Come on! You seem to have, you're avoiding my question. So you claim to have a picture of the tape measure running out. Is that what that yep. picture that you posted that's, was of? Yeah, that's, that's the picture. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Okay, well, you feel free to just keep claiming that it is, because it isn't. Nathan, behind you. Apologise. Come on. You claimed you had a picture of a tape measure running out. That's not what you posted. Whose shoes were they? So you're back to on, Riley, you're back to, on to claiming Riley about outfits like you did yesterday. 
you claim to have a tape measure running off the reel. That's not what you posted. Now you're back on to talking about shoes. Nonsense, in other words. Are you going to call me a worm? Ah, oh, dead air. The uncomfortable silence. Something Nathan experienced as a boy. When I think like they were CGI shoes. Personally, myself, I want proof. I want the metadata. What I want to know, though, Ali, is if Riley's girlfriend is a professional photographer, why doesn't she do the photographs? Because Ranty can't seem to get that camera in focus for, for love and money. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, uh, he's even said that his, his girlfriend's not really flat earth. She's, she's just probably, you know, just... I can I can imagine the pillar talk. Well, I mean, but it's like if you're not into something, Alan. You can't be talked into doing it. You know, it's like she's probably she's probably um, got one more GSE than Anthony. <laughs> I don't know. I think she's quite hard. Rally, if you can't convince the person that loves you the most, one does have to wonder about the theories that you're holding. I, 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 my friend's just, uh, well, one of my friends, he was, uh, as I say, when I first found out about it, it was like, I just laughed and I ran into my mate. I said, hey, by the way, Fleming, I said, did you know the earth is flat? He said, what do you mean? I showed him, I can't remember what clip it was or, or said something to him. He said, oh, okay. And that was him. But most of my, I've, I have had a bit of uh, some of my friends getting angry about it. You know, the same kind of in the same kind of way that people on the internet do it as well. I had a couple of friends doing that. You know, they're, they're, you know, it's just like a natural, but it's just a strange reaction. I always find that a strange reaction. Is that a Glasgow? Like people, right? so people in Glasgow. What's that? People in Glasgow seem to get very angry. I'm I'm not uh, I'm not from Glasgow. I'm from like the west. West of Glasgow, about 40 miles west of Glasgow. Uh, oh, I, I, was on I was on Argyle Street one night. You know it? Yeah, I know it up in Glasgow, yeah. yeah. I, saw, I, saw, I saw a guy weighing on a door. And then he took out his keys and let himself in. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I'm going to say first foremost a huge massive enormous thank you to all of the live audience for tuning in and hopefully for sharing this debate if you've not done so already be sure to like comment share and subscribe i've been nathan oakley and i will see you all in the next video